Animoca intends to advance the music world within gaming and Web3 through its recent partnership with Pixelinks. Welcome to CryptoLink channel. If you love getting news and updates about cryptocurrency, join our community by subscribing to our channel. You can tap the bell icon to never miss our new videos. If you enjoy our channel, kindly like and share it with your friends. December 7, 2022. A tweet from Cointelegraph stated, Animoca Brands is making moves. Most recently, it acquired a majority stake in an LA-based music metaverse gaming platform. Music Metaverse Gaming, which is a Los Angeles-based platform, Pixelinks, has acquired a majority stake from the digital entertainment, blockchain, as well as gamification firm Animoca Brands. In its December 6 official statement, Animoca Brands stated that it anticipated that its acquisition would enhance the integration of gaming and Web3 communities. The financing arrangements of the transaction were not revealed. According to Animoca, it plans to keep making investments in and purchasing digital studios that will help it in its mission to incorporate the music industry with Web3, a general term for a potential blockchain-powered internet in the future. Pixelinks already works in five countries and is presently establishing an ecosystem that breaks the barriers between gaming, music, and Web3 across both the digital and physical worlds. Eventually, Pixelinks's environment strives to do is provide artists authority over how they construct interactions with fans, associates and platforms, in addition to generate creative ways for music fans to advance, share and monetize music. Technology and music merge looks to have a bright and successful future. Global music sales are expected to hit $131 billion by 2030, according to analysis by Goldman Sachs. Web3 innovations as well as the music industry emerge to be gradually integrating, thus also presenting new possibilities and sources of income for creators and music industries. As more musicians and executives adopt Web3 technologies like as non-fungible tokens to turn audiences into thriving communities, the partnership between music and Web3 technology is expected to get stronger. In September, Worldwide entertainment and music firm Warner Music Company confirmed a collaboration with NFT trading market OpenSea to offer a platform for chosen musical artists to establish and broaden their fanbase further into Web3 community. December 8, 2022 Another tweet from Cointelegraph stated, Following the sanctions against Tornado Cash, a number of crypto mixer platforms are still up and running. Will any of them take the now-sanctioned platform's place? Cryptocurrency blending services are a controversial topic in the industry. Some endorse for the confidentiality attributes of these protocols whereas others preserve that they are primarily used for fraudulent means. For platforms such as Tornado Cash, the same mainstream judgment is guilty as charged. The controversial decentralized mixing system was prohibited by the United States Office of Foreign Assets Control or OFAC in August 2022, basically making it unlawful for anybody to make use of the service. Tornado Cash proceeds to be a controversial subject with one of its devs, Alexei Pertsev, contentiously stays in Netherlands for detention, whereas investigators seek to establish a case against with the Russian developer as well as his accused role in the mixer's execution. In a metaphorically speaking manner, one man's loss is also another man's gain and that appears to be the issue for crypto mixers based on a report from blockchain analytics firm Elliptic. Money Laundering Operations Elliptic's investigation, which has been emphasized, suggests that Tornado Cash processed more than $7 billion in cryptocurrency. The site, whose users included North Korean state hackers from the Lazarus Group, was used to launder an estimated $1.54 billion in unlawful cryptocurrency. The holdings of Tornado Cash liquidity pools decreased by 60% as a result of OFAC sanctions, which is reported to have significantly impacted the platform's ability to provide anonymity for huge money laundering activities. The ostensible shutdown of Tornado Cash has led to the identification of a number of substitute mixing services as possible risks to crypto service providers and law enforcement authorities. Elliptic lists six different protocols which have been employed as mixers since the prohibition of Tornado Cash. However, not every mixer is employed for unlawful purposes. 
The report from Elliptic explains how these mixing protocols function in various ways and offer a range of results for potential customers. The amount of cryptocurrency combined by various obfuscation protocols is over $41 million, which is a small fraction of the total transacted by Tornado Cash, according to a top-down view. Given their use in decentralized finance or DeFi, the most popular mixed tokens are Ether, Wrapped Ether, BNB, and Tether. Notably absent from elliptic statistics are Polygon-based tokens. Three quarters of the crypto mixed is made up of two specific protocols, which together have the highest mixing capability among the instruments evaluated. The first is Railgun, which is a decentralized protocol that Elliptic believes is targeted at professional traders and DeFi users who want to keep their investing techniques a secret. Railgun Privacy System uses zero-knowledge proof technology to erase wallet addresses from operations on public blockchains. It asserts to be ERC-20 compatible and to have no mixing restrictions. The second protocol is called Cyclone Protocol. It is a fork of Tornado Cash that boasts a variety of improvements, some of which are allegedly yield farming for donors to anonymous pools. According to Elliptic, Cyclone may combine 100 Ethereum and 100,000 USDT in a single instance and is accessible on IOTX, BNB Smart Chain, Ethereum, and Polygon. The money being mixed through these services mostly represent legal DeFi trade activity, Elliptic notes in its report, with the exception of Cyclone, which it identifies as the protocol with the biggest risk among the six. Only $40,000 of mixed funds could be linked to DeFi thefts, indicating that bad actors and criminal groups are not yet using these alternate mixing techniques. Keeping tabs Even if cyber criminals have combined a very modest quantity of cryptocurrency, Elliptic nonetheless issues a warning to some of the services it highlighted. Following the Tornado Cash sanctions, Cyclone Protocol is considered to be the service with the highest risk. Elliptic advises that the service's high transaction limit, significant liquidity in its mixing pools, and capacity to handle Torn, the eponymous governance token of Tornado Cash, are all cause for concern. These dangers are only increased by its verified usage to launder at least some of the revenues of DeFi vulnerabilities, the significant amount of monies it has subsequently handled, and the apparent lack of its developer staff to fix issues. The risk level for Buccaneer V3 or BV3 was rated as medium-high. Users may bury cash for an unlimited amount of time using the Ethereum-based token or BUCC without needing to pool, mix, or cycle transactions. As an obfuscation approach, a decoy mode presents fake BUCC balances on UI or user interfaces. Due to the service's utilization of the gas station network to settle transaction fees by asserting a tiny amount of transmitted BUCC, it may be appealing for illegal use situations. By doing this, consumers might be able to avoid utilizing cryptocurrency exchanges and services that adhere to regulations. Since Ethereum must normally be obtained through a centralized KYC exchange to settle transaction fees, BV3 asserts that it resolves the funding issue. Elliptic warns that BV3 employs technology that is currently under testing and whose features and capabilities have not yet been completely realized. Elliptic thinks that the four remaining protocols include elements that will prevent widespread unlawful use. That's it for our today's video. So, what can you say about the news? Let us know about it in the comments section down below. Thanks for tuning in to Cryptolink. We are always excited to provide you with news and updates about cryptocurrency and if you like this video, please click the like button. See you on the next one.